Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with more Derail Valley Overhauled. Yesterday we completed the tutorial level, which was down that way a little bit, and we brought a locomotive uh, to the repair shed over yonder. Let's see if we can show that off. We brought the, we brought that one in from the tutorial level, the one that's sitting in that shed right there. And uh, we grabbed uh, this locomotive here from over there in the service area. And we got our first job and we're going to go to, I want to say, Goods Factory in town? I might be wrong, let me uh, give that a quick, yeah, Goods Factory in town. We have this little bit of cargo here that we need to transport up there. Um, Okay, yeah. Um, let's see where we gotta go. Goods factory and town. So that is going to be to the right. Doesn't look that complicated. So let's go ahead and uh, prepare to set off. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and make sure everything is hooked up properly from last time. Yep, and everything's good to go. Just make sure all these are coupled. Alright, everything looks good here. Good here as well. And good. We are ready to set off. Make this a little more immersive. <laughs> Instead of, you know, just teleporting through it. Alright. So, uh, first things first, uh, let's turn on the fuses and then fire the engine. Uh, let's get some lights, fans, all that, wait for the system to pressurize here. Set our reverser to forward. Make sure we have our comms radio ready to go if we need to switch a track from afar. Check the map one more time. So we have so we have one left and then one right. And that'll bring us to Goods Factory in town and from there we decide on where we gotta go. So it wants us to go to uh, GF D51. So let's just go ahead and give that a quick glance, real quick. Just a little heads up. Nope, wrong one. Where is it? I got all these things in my inventory. I'm gonna put the shunter guide right here because I don't really need that. Train basics. I'm just gonna put that there as well. Uh, Alright, yeah. Nope. Derail Valley Guide. Just the basics. Servicing licenses, item management, shops, yeah, okay. So just the basics. I'm gonna switch it to the, the money bag right here and I'm gonna have that face right there because who doesn't like to look at money bags? Alright, so anyways, uh, station map. Uh, damn, I gotta check the job one more time. GFD51, alright, uh, goods factory in town, that is pink one, overview, um, GFA, Oh, so the GF is just the station. Yeah, Goods Factory. Okay, so it's just an abbreviation. And to the right of it, D, D is that D5I or D51? I'm gonna say D5I. Or it might be D51. I'm not sure. So then we have to go to uh, D. So let's go back to the overview real 
real quick. D is going to be at the bottom right, so we're going to be approaching from the southwest. We're going to enter B. Once we pass B transfer yard, we're going to make a right, go straight. Or you know, we could just pull all the way in. It, pull all the way in. We can do a, uh, a circle. We can go from B through C to D, or we can go right down the middle. The only difference is if we were to go from B to C to D, um, the front of the train will be facing southwest, um, rather than if we were to go in through B and then come down the middle, um, our train would still be facing uh, north, I believe. Is, is this north? Are we coming in north? Or are we coming in from the south? I'm not sure. We're yeah, we're going to be approaching from the south. So our train would uh, still be uh, facing north if we were to go down the middle. Because we'd have to go up, come down, and then back it up. Where if we went to B to C, all we'd have to do is just follow it around. And our locomotive will be pointing uh, west, pretty much. I don't know, it's kind of confusing a little bit. Uh, but don't worry, we got this. We got this. All right, let's, uh, let's set off. All right, make sure our brakes are charged. Yeah, we got pressure. Just going to release the independent brake. Set a reverser and let's uh, let's cast off. Brake is off, right? Oh, the independent brake is all the way on. Wow, that wasn't bright. Uh, no matter. <laughs> now, I've looked at some of the jobs. Apparently, you can get a lot of money for doing uh, hazmat related uh, hauls, like uh, gasoline and stuff like that. You gotta have the license, hazmat one or hazmat two or whatever. Uh, hazmat one is just for like flammables. Hazmat two, I believe, is like for corrosives, uh, things like that. You know, more acidic um, environment damaging chemicals. <laughs> I mean, I guess gas would be bad for the environment too, but probably not as bad as some, you know, other things. Uh, we, we are gaining some speed, uh, only just under 20 kilometers. Um, we are on flat ground, so let's go ahead and speed this up. We had a little bit of wheel slip there, but we should be fine. And 300 meters, uh, there will be a crossing that'll lead to the tutorial level. So I need to swap it to the left. Should be coming up here. Yep. And there we go. Then the next, the next crossing that we go to, um, that's going to be a right. Oh, wrong one. Yes, the next one is going to be right, and that is going to get us into Good Factory in town. So the track said uh, it'll allow 50 or 60 kilometers an hour, so I'm going to get us up to that speed, and then I'm going to uh, idle, so that way we can conserve our fuel. We already are starting to pick up some speed. I don't know if we're on a negative gradient. No, we're still on 
flat ground. And it does say it's a lot at 70, so you know we'll crank it up one more. We'll reach 70 and we'll coast it.
I think I'm going to, when I come in, I'm, I'm not going to go down the middle. I'm going to go to B to C and then to D. So I just got to keep it left. So once I pass the B transfer yard, I'm going to keep left. just basically going to keep left the entire time, as it, as it looks like, yeah. So that's how I'm going to do that. Uh, how far away are we? We'd be pretty close. We're right there, pretty much. I don't think I can see it from here.
on outbound right there. Uh, the track ends right there, okay. Alright, so uh, I think we're all the way in. Let's go ahead and bring her to a stop. Maybe because we're still connected to a uh, locomotive, or, or still connected to the uh, cars here. So let's go ahead and uh, unhook these. Blow the air. All right, we are unhooked. Now I just gotta find the station office and turn my job in. Where is the office? Um, can't say I've ever been here to Goods Factory. Um, wait, oh, I think I've seen it. Is that it? I think, yeah, that's it. Alright, let's uh, see how we did. Alright, validate. Uh, we passed. Alright, job complete. Um, wow, we were just a minute off. Alright, I hear you. I'm just a minute off from uh, completing the bonus time. Alright, cool. Alright, alright, I hear you, I hear you. Alright, cool. So how much money do we have now? Uh, 20,000. Now what I could do, um, I have to pay for fees of course. Oop, wrong one. Oop. <laughs> check out some licenses now what I could do is I could um, <clears throat> could get some licenses here I really want to get multiple unit but I don't really need to mess with multiple unit until I get like uh, long uh, like train length here that's when multiple unit would uh, come in handy so let me just uh, let me take a look at some of our jobs here and see what we got. Yeah, I don't want to do uh, do shunting. I like to just haul things. That one seems pretty simple, and it's right back down to uh, steel mill. So I might do that. Yeah, that's thirty thousand. I really like that. All, all I need is long too. I think uh, I think steel mill might be downhill I think it was all pretty much flat ground so I might be able to do that um, oh I don't have long two though okay never mind we're not doing that that's uh, that's logistics um, good factory in town food factory in town uh, doesn't really pay that much so it looks like our next best thing here is back to steel mill <laughs> Well, uh, let's do it. Let's do it and hook up. So yeah, steel mill, no license is required except your basic uh, operator's license. Uh, so let's go ahead and validate and do it. So where is this? Uh, where is this uh, cargo located? D20. Um, probably just use the same locomotive, or I might use. Uh, different one depending on the scenario of where we're at so let's uh let's get back here so i first off i need to identify uh which cargo is mine I, it's not this long one it's probably the short guy right here let's uh, let's confirm it though so what do we see me 887 yep so this is definitely ours uh 190 yep 190 and 63 yep okay so this one is definitely ours um, these lo locomotives are already facing outwards so I'm probably going to bring them one of them forward and use one of those instead of using l60 
over there, which is the one I just previously used. But first off, before I do anything, let's go ahead and set up uh, everything in advance so things just run a lot smoother. Uh, so this one, D20, yep, that's where I gotta go, so let's switch that going that way. Uh, this one needs to be left, yep, to access that. And this one needs to be facing left. There we go, okay. And for you, I'm gonna be bringing, I don't know, eeny meeny miny mo, catch a tiger by its tail, I don't know. I'm just going with this one. <laughs> taking this one, and this one is uh, L021. So let's go ahead and fire up refuses. Oh, wrong way. Let's go ahead and give her, make sure we turn all this stuff on. speed is allowed on uh, on the buffers here of the locomotives but I don't really like to push it past uh, past 10 like even this I think this might be a little too fast but you know, if the game the game allows it the game allows it <laughs> So we need 
to take this to steel mill, which to the speed. Okay, so we're at 50 right now. Um, I'm pretty sure when we reach that junction, we're going to have to stay at 50. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's going to tell me right now. I better be making preparations to renew 
your speed just in case. It says 60, so. Make sure we stay to the left. Coming up. Can't see that sign from here. And it looks like it is pointing to the left. Alright. Yeah, it was right. It is 50. So what is our speed? Just under 50. Release the brake. speed is now 70 so let's go ahead and crank her up a little bit It is 
start to slightly drop. Audit speed is 60. We are now at 60 below. I can tell we're definitely coming up on that grade. Should should die off rather quickly here. Yeah, we're about to reach flat ground. And we're about to enter the steel mill. <laughs> so I'm going to start leading off some speed here. Alright, I really need to start checking where we got to go. Alright, 3 eye. There we go, everything is set up. Cool. Just go ahead and take off our brake, repressurize. Excuse me, tree. You're inside my locomotive. Can you not do that? We are pretty much repressurized, so let's go ahead and give her some throttle. Disconnect. Uh-oh, what's happening? Okay. Cut the air supply and... Oof, disconnect the air hoses. Alright. We are good to go. Another job well done. Let's go ahead and turn it in. Job. 
completed. Elapsed time? Oh, we actually did it within the... Hold on. <laughs> I think that beeping, it gets to me. Alright, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, so, uh, yeah, the elapsed time was 21 minutes, and our allotted time was, uh, 31 minutes, so we did receive a bonus. Nice. Not sure how much the bonus is. Base payment. I guess it doesn't really tell me. Oh, time bonus. Five, an extra 5,000. Cool. Well done. Alright, so how much do we have now? We have 38,000. Nice. So this uh, this opens up some opportunities here of, uh, of things we can do. But I believe I'm going to save that for the next episode. We will decide whether or not to get another license or continue to just uh, stack the money that we have so we can purchase a couple licenses at a time. That one's a long one. You know what? We might be doing that next time. Increasing our length by one. I mean, it does seem rather beneficial. I mean, check out the, you know, the money differences here. Oh, yeah. So it seems like the, the, the more dangerous your, your haul is, the, you know, the more you're going to get compensated. So, yeah, I will leave that for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, until the next time, peace out and stay cool.